first step I'm going to show you is how to get the JavaDoc context sensitive help for ArcGIS Java classes. So I have my Eclipse IDE already and this is a simple Java project that I've created and it's got some ArcGIS Java classes. You could notice that some of the base Java classes have context sensitive help. It gives me what the class is about. Uh, but if I go over for ArcGIS Java classes or interfaces, I don't get that information because my Java doc is not attached to it. So let's go and fix this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and configure my build path. So you could notice in the libraries, I have added arcobjects.jar. And if I expand it, the Java doc location specifies nowhere. So what I'm going to do is remove the arcobjects.jar and I'm going to add ArcGIS engine library. ArcGIS engine library is pre-created for you when you install ArcGIS engine plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you notice, the arcobjects.jar is automatically added and the Java doc location is also added. So let's click OK and let's go see what happens now. So now if I, if I go and click on one of the ArcGIS Java classes, say for example, Workspace, you could notice the context sensitive help that comes out for the particular ArcGIS Java class. And if I want more information about it, I could open up in an external browser where I could see all implemented interfaces, all the methods that are available, and any other information that you might be interested in. So that's the simplest tip to integrate Java doc in Eclipse IDE. The next tip is, Jim, I'm going to show you how you could integrate the SDK that comes along with us. It's not just the Java doc that provides information about classes and interfaces, right? We also have a lot of how-to topics and getting started topics and walkthrough topics. So this tip is going to show you how you could keep your keep those help topics side by side when you are working in your Eclipse IDE. So um, you, usually if you have installed doc plugin, this will take care of it. But the problem is the doc plugin is a very huge for Eclipse and sometimes you might have installation issues. So this could be a very good alternative if you have installation problems with doc plugin too. So I'm going to go and run the start java help server script and once I run it, it helps me to create a remote help and what I could do is I could go back to my Eclipse and integrate that remote help. So window preferences and I'm going to go to my help content and you could see Eclipse allows me to add remote help. So I'm going to add and I'm going to call it ArcGIS. And the host is the machine name where I ran my batch, batch file. So that's Monica J. And by default, it the remote help is uh, the port 2112. So I'm going to specify 2112. And I'm going to click OK. And let's apply. And say OK. So now, if you come back to all topics, you could notice that ArcGIS integrate ArcGIS docs are integrated with the other Eclipse help. You could you could notice all the how to docs side by side, and if you're interested in some of these code snippets, you could copy and paste them with Control C Control V very simply, and you can search through these docs using Eclipse help. I, I did a simple search for map the other day, and it could see you could see the results like map tips and stuff like that. And you could also create bookmarks if you like for these docs. So if I go back to my bookmarks, it will show up map tips already that is there as a bookmark. So you could take advantage of the other, uh, other capabilities of Eclipse help system and as well as ArcGIS docs that we provide within the Eclipse IDE.